welcome along and welcome back to Purbeck Valley. We're starting off today with a quick run down to the Mole Valley sell point. We're going to be selling off 5,500 litres of milk. So we've got that left from the last couple of days. That should get us back in the black today, straight off the bat, uh, which we really need because... We need to start getting some crops in the ground. And I think I've decided we're going to plant canola this year. So we need to get that in. And for that, we are going to need a cedar. Uh, we will try and get a direct cedar, I think, and get all of that sorted. We also need to get a mulcher. We need to get the current stubble mulched to maximize our uh, yield bonus on here. So we'll head back now. We've also got some silage to sell down at the cow yard. Our cows are well fed for a good few months yet. So any silage we have down there, we can actually sell off at the moment and get some more money in for that. Uh, that should give us enough money to get both a mulcher and a cedar along with some seeds. So that should be fairly good. Unfortunately, there's also something today in the used shop that I would really like. But it is £10,000 and that is going to prevent us, I think, from getting it. We just don't have enough stuff around the farm to sell to spend that much money. And that item is this. There's a mower in there that would be so very useful. In fact, that's gone up in price. It's 11695 thousand in order to buy that and yeah and we just can't afford that that's interesting that that has appeared to go up in price to me that was ten thousand originally but yeah we, we just can't afford that our maintenance is also complete on our combine so this can head home now very pleased with this purchase still i think this is going to be very very useful as we get into harvest this year we do still need to get ourselves a header for this combine and that will then sort everything out and really i couldn't decide what header to get or what header to lease for this combine until we decided on what crops so it's going to be a very standard header we get on here uh, but this combine is absolutely the perfect size for our farm our uh, fields are not very big and the combine will fit in that very nicely and the fact that we've uh, managed to get it so that it's in full working order before the harvest means that it should leave us without any major issues now all i've got to do is work out exactly where we're going to store this and i think the sheds that we can see straight ahead of us now should do the trick so let's bring it round. Yeah, easy clearance for it. And it'll fit in there quite nice and snugly. Plus, when we eventually get a header for it, uh, that will fit down here as well. So just uh, put that in there for now. And there we go. That is very nicely placed in there. And so before we get bogged down in also selling our silage bales... Let's get the Axion down to the shop and get a way of mulching our stubble onto it. Uh, very much I want to squeeze as much out of our two fields, our two arable fields as we can this year. So getting this done and uh, getting this on there will work out fairly well for us, I think. We had pretty low yields. With the last crop you can see that it's all around the sort of 85 to 90 we had a couple of patches of 100 percent, but not many everything's sort of in that 80 to 100 percent amount on both fields so we kind of want to push that a bit especially considering that we've got loam here and the loam was only doing 100% yield on it. So we can definitely push more from these fields. So looking at the mulches, we did identify one last time that should cost us very little to keep in here. And this is the RC Max 2. 
if we put on uh the colorball tires standard ones right we want a mulching roller on it it's a pity we can't buy this because a cultivating roller and a mulching roller one that we can flip between the two would be so useful and selecting somebody at random for the number plate. Uh, congratulations to Ionut Andre Pavel. You've been selected from the tractor driver level and above YouTube members and patrons. And so I'm going to go with AP Ionut. For, so AP10NUT for your number plate. Okay, that. That fits in really quite nicely on there. And then we're going to lease that. This is a mulching roller. Uh, 535 for it. Yes. Okay. Right. And there it is. Now, this is overkill, this axiom for this. But I want to use the Voltra to go and sell off the silage bales. And hopefully, by the time we're finished with the Voltra, we can then put it onto this and go and mulch the second field. Uh, while this tractor here is doing the actual uh, seeding itself. So, out of here. And we still have nearly £3,000 left, which is perfect. Let's head and get this field done first. This is going to be really, really difficult, I think, for uh, anything to do on course play. So, we'll see if we can make it work. Bring it round and in set up a course play course and so we've got a two headland working on the center first uh with sharp corners going round clockwise and a seven percent overlap we're going to do up and down and with an automatic direction and it's created an interesting looking shape that this field to be done at uh, but if this gets it round easily, I'm quite happy to go with this. So we'll get it started. It's going to finish in this corner. It's going to start roughly in this corner as well. Let's unfold the roller. Position the tractor well enough. Yeah, I hope we've given the tractor enough space to turn. We should have. It's quite a wide roller, this actually. Perfect for the kind of size farm we have. First waypoint and away that goes. Yeah. And that now should start getting this field mulched and we can start looking at getting the uh, next thing that needs doing on here done. I feared this might be the case and I hadn't realized it. We need to mulch this field, but after this, before we do any direct seeding, these fields need to be plowed. So I'm going to have to get this tractor mulching these. Then we're going to have to get a subsoiler in or something at least to get these fields plowed. And then we can seed. So it looks like it's going to be the class getting on to doing plowing after this mulching. I had originally jumped forward to April because I thought that we could do with the extra cash that that would generate. But it seems it's bunched us up with a whole load of bits and uh we're we're kind of now a little bit struck for time fortunately we do have two days in april so we should be okay but we do need to hire all the equipment we need and get all the seed and everything we need today because the likelihood of us having enough money going into the second day of april is actually fairly slim and uh while our cows do generate a nice amount of cash uh, it might end up being uh, a little bit short. They don't, I'm not sure they generate more cash than we actually spend in a day, which is a bit of a problem at the moment. We do not have a full trailer full of uh, silage bales here either, I don't think. We've got four on one side, three on the other. Yeah, it is, uh, it is not going to be a full trailer that we're selling hopefully it's enough to get us through the next few days because we are going to be a little bit well a little bit in trouble if we can't keep stuff coming in at least as i said earlier we have the cows to 
keep bringing money in but i really need to get some crops in my fields as well i've just realized something and that is that our class tractor might be our saving grace it's quite a powerful tractor and and when i got it it was a little bit overkill for the farm but if we need to plow the field first and then seed it we could hook up a subsoiler in front of the cedar so let's have a look at this tractor we have 325 horsepower on this this should be very very possible so what i'm going to do is i am going to go and uh, sell off these seven silage bales we'll go grab the money from these and then we'll come back and uh, we'll start switching over some stuff we can copy the current course that the class is on uh, from the uh, from that to the vulture we can get the vulture doing the mulching and we can take the class and see if there's a way for us to do two things at once uh, kill two birds with one stone and uh, and get ourselves back on track today up to the bga with the silage bales and we're gonna have to sell these in the bale sell point again i don't know why the bga doesn't work on here as i said before we've had several maps where you have to own the bga in order to sell stuff into it uh, which can be very annoying it does worry me slightly about any contract that requires you go sell to the bga as well we need to be very careful of that we are at ten thousand five hundred and sixty-eight, which is perfect so let's go drop this off in fact i'm very tempted at this point to return this bale stacker we don't have any bales at the moment and if we're going to be doing any silage bales in the near future uh, then we're we're going to need to hire everything anyway so yeah we've no need for a bale stacker on the farm at the moment we'll return this we'll stop this draining our money as well and uh we will go and get ourselves set up for some seeding looks like the class is doing a pretty good job of rolling this field uh, which is very good news it's made it through all of this section at the very least so uh, let's just jump in here and we will stop that there i want to copy this course disconnect that oh yeah okay connect that and then we'll take this out the way over here I think I'm about to be very happy that I spent all that money on a tractor with way more horsepower than I initially looked like I needed. Uh, but to be able to essentially plow and seed at the same time with a direct seeder is going to be perfect. So we'll connect all that up. We'll back this up slightly just so that it's got a good run up uh we will copy the existing course uh, turn the blue on and away we go and yep that is gonna crack on with that while we go and sort out a way to get this field seeded and uh plowed all at the same time so first things first we want to return that bale stacker now you might be thinking oh is it wise to return the bale stacker uh basically this is costing us money every day and at the moment we don't have a massive daily income to rely on so having this taken off and not actually having to worry about it uh, and and the money going out for that every day with everything we're leasing is a good idea We've got a fair amount of stuff on our leasing at the moment and uh, I want to return it as soon as we can in most cases. Once again, checking the shop, seeing if there's anything in there. Not really that mower still there, but it's more expensive. 
than we can afford so let's see what we can do in the way of cedars so we've got a mod in here that converts these into direct cedars we've got a few of those here we have a well we've got the amazon we've got the nordstein 33 yeah these ones unfortunately we need extra bits with I do like the jet, but the jet is pretty expensive. It's only three meters. Do we have a four meter in any of this? Yes. The Kunventa. That is a four meter cedar. And yeah, that is the only one. So what does that combine with? That combines with the HR4040. The details on that, to lease that will cost us 1,200. I think that might be the best way to go okay so what is the uh usage requirement of these uh that is 60 horsepower that is 160 so that's 220 and then if we look at a four meter subsoiler that's 130 so that's 350 horsepower and we've got 325 so we might have to go for a three meter in order to make sure everything will function as we need it to. Otherwise, I think we might have a problem. Yeah, even the, the, the car ones are still 150 horsepower. In which case, I think I'm going to go for the jet. 125 horsepower requirement. It is only a three meter, but this should work pretty well for us. To lease that will be 1,887. Yes, I am going to get that leased. And then to go with that, I'm going to get the Agrisem subsoiler. That will attach the cedar to the back of it. So we'll lease that as well. And that's going to be 438 pounds. So there it is. Let's hook all this up and make sure this works. Uh, we're well within our horsepower setup here, uh, which is good. I'm I'm slightly surprised that we couldn't do the four meter setup, but but never mind. At least we can get started today. So let's hook that up to there, lift it up, and then onto that we're gonna get our cedar as well down pick that up right and then what we need is oh we're gonna need some seeds as well and because we're down at the shop we will grab a load of seeds where are you there we go a pack of seeds buy that obviously can't lease these so there we go and those are over there does this take fertilizer as well? I don't think it does. Uh, it would be useful, but uh, it doesn't, I don't think. Switch to, to the right bit. Uh, lift it up. Yeah, don't have access to this land. I know that. Oh, wow. That is uh, very, very wobbly on the back of this why is that that wobbly i think that's the three point but uh yeah that's a little bit weird fill that up and yeah we only have capacity for seeds and it's not going to take all of them so that's fine let's head down to the field and see if we can start getting this done so we're up here. I think I really want this field to be finished first before I start trying to get seeding it with this. Let's get the right crop in this. We want the canola. And our mulcher is sort of struggling its way through the middle section of this field here. I think it would have been better to have actually got this mulched in the direction that i was planning to seed it because i want to to seed it down the bottom end so what i'm going to do is stop our hired worker and just sort of move this on myself a little bit faster so that i can end up getting it seeded quicker 
in order to do that we're going to come up here and uh, I'm going to do it in long strokes along the longest edge. Which is something I think Courseplay would have struggled on here. And then we'll be able to get this field down. It is 139 though. So I think if we can get this field done today and the other field done tomorrow, that will be good. Uh, because we're going to have to get a set of rollers on here as well. So, lots to do. But uh, not a lot of time to get it done in. This is such a really odd-shaped field. And, yeah, I don't know what would be the best way to get cosplay to do it. I think the way it was doing it, unfortunately, was just too time-consuming and... Uh, just doing all these really short niggly turns you really want it to try and do along this longest edge here but whether that would actually work in the grand scheme of things is uh, a little bit of an unknown i know doing it myself just now uh, this has been a little bit fiddly and a little bit more nuanced than i think that was play may be able to do so Having to do this myself is not that surprising. I do know that we will very easily get our second field done. Field uh, 20, that is a much more regularly shaped field and course play will have no problems with that whatsoever. Got a little bit fiddly down this end of the field again, but we are almost there. And once I've got this bit done, we can go and transfer this over to the other field. Start getting that done as well. And uh, then come back to this one with our class and start getting the canola in. It's not going too badly. It is going to take us both days in April to get all of this in. But that's not a huge problem. And, uh, and once we've done that, we can get a little bit of fertilizer on these fields. And then maybe we will be able to get a little bit of uh, contracting done over the summer that will bring in some extra cash and finally allow us to get, get the daily income that we really need to get going. Last little bit. Bring that around. Probably going to have to just back that into there just to mulch that. That bit round the side there where it didn't quite reach. Yeah, we want to grab that bit there. If I could buy a set of these rollers, I'd be really happy because we can get a field mulch and then switch over to the other rollers on them and then get the field uh, rolled after it's seeded as well. That would make a big difference to us. Right, that's got everything. Let's fold this up. Get this over to field 20. Start getting that the uh, that mulched. And then we can start getting some canola in here. I'm kind of glad I didn't wash this tractor considering how much lime it's having to muck around in today. There's our gateway to this field just up here somewhere. There it is. Right. So into the field. Let's uh, get a course set up. So same as we had a moment ago, two headlands, sharp in the corners, clockwise, up, down, and automatic. Nice and quick course generation, starting in this corner, finishing up there. Yep. So just turn this into the field, get it unfolded. And yeah, this will this will be fairly standard. So I'm no problems with this going around and doing this. First waypoint and away it goes. And now we're ready to go in the class. So how best to do this? I think if we work our way from this side of the field over to there, we should be good. But I need to get, um, well, what I really need to do is go and set up a GPS course. So let's get ourselves lined up along the longest edge over here. And see if we can work out exactly what our 
GPS should be. I reckon along here like that. Uh, that is 256. Turn on GPS. Set first waypoint. Start up our cedar. Which means I need to select the right bit. Start that up. Yep. And drop it down. There we go. And we're in drive. So away we go. And in with the canola. And this should do the trick very nicely. Stay along this edge. Oh, and I need to check. So I also need to check that we don't have that train angle. Turn that off. Because we want to now set our second point. Yep, there we go. An auto width, and we're going nicely along here. I'm hoping these are small stones because if they're big ones or if they're medium ones, then we're going to have a little bit of a problem. We can't roll the medium or the large stones in while we're uh, while we're doing it this way. This is the downside to doing this all at once. If we've got stones, we're gonna have problems. So I'm a couple of roads in now. We are definitely getting rid of the needs plowing state. The stones are medium stones. So yeah, we're gonna have to stone pick next year on here. Uh, this is not a great way to do this, though, uh, if it's pulling up medium stones on this field, unfortunately. Uh, mulch we're all good and uh, yeah we now have a section that needs rolling but we're not going to be able to roll in the stones that this is dragging up uh, we're going to be stuck with them this year and we will have to sort them out next year i don't know if we can sort them out after we've harvested and before we direct seed that is the only problem i do think this is a much better direction for doing this field though going along the long edge down here it is it is helping us to uh, get some nice long rows in and keeping everything from being too fiddly we'll see whether that's still the case when we hit the top ends of the field here uh, but at the moment certainly this seems to be a great way for us to do this just checking in on our mulcher quickly and it's beginning to make its way across the field so uh, i think that will be able to just continue on and get this field finished today similarly i think working into the evening we'll probably get this all planted tonight and uh yeah we'll get that done off camera get this all uh ready and raring to go next time then all we need to do is get the canola into field 20 and get both of these fields rolled as well making good good progress here on perbeck now and uh, we just need to get that daily income to keep the money coming in for now though i'm gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye